this week's quiz, Mum will be hosting off screen. Off screen. Uh, off screen. <laughs> um, it's me versus Dan. Stay tuned to see who won. Right, the first category is literature. Mm. In which Raoul Dell novel told the story of a boy and his peasant pouting father? Oh. In which Raoul Dell novel? Tell the story of a boy and his peasant pouting father. See, I'm sure I remember some to do with that. There's no, I just give you time to think. Yeah, and I don't. Oh, see, Dan's already writing things down. Second question. Speak a bit louder. In which English county were the Bronte sisters born? What was the Geoffrey Archer's first public novel? These are all hard. No, they're all of them, I've had to, I've had to go through them three times to try and get, you know, yeah. Which, can, can, can you repeat the question, what please? What was the Geoffrey Archer's first public novel? Which of the Jane Austen's six novels did she write first? I don't even know Jane Austen. <laughs> Which author wrote the Philip Marlowe novels, including The Big Three? <laughs> These are really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> right. so I'm going to try and answer everyone, even if I don't know. Which I've got my, all of these wrong so far, and no. Oh, you do. Music. What was the only number one album in the UK chart during the 1960s with a US date in the album title? That should know this. Yep. What was the only number one UK album in the 1970s with the name of a country in the album title? I don't know any. I already know I've lost. What was the only UK hit song from the year 2000 with a colour in the song title? Is it, is it, is it asking for the song name or what was the only UK hit song yeah. from the year 2000 with a colour in the song title? What James Bond theme song that starts with the words Meeting You was the only 007 theme to reach number one in the US charts? Uh, <laughs> you should know this one. If you get this wrong, I'll be shocked. I don't listen to the talk, I don't busy on. See, I think I know who the singer is, but I don't know the theme song. Which English band has a record 36 top 10 albums in the US charts? Food and drink. What is green horseradish called in Japan? Oh, I can't spell it. <laughs> what kind of orange is used to flavour Earl Grey tea? Talk of orange. What kind of orange is used to flavour Earl Grey tea? Mm. Mm. Right, I've come to this pub again, it's too hard. <laughs> I've not been to the King's Head again. At least we can sit outside in this pub. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which seed has been used for centuries to colour cheddar cheese? Oh, I never knew there was a bean in cheddar cheese. Seed? I never knew there was a seed in cheddar cheese. What seed Which one? seed yeah. has been yeah. used for centuries to colour cheddar cheese? <laughs> Good luck anyone who's playing with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> 
Yeah. Mind you, everyone's probably smarter than us. <laughs> the English word for which popular spice takes its name from the Latin or French word for nail. <laughs> can, we, can we have that repeated, please? The English word for which popular spice takes its name from the Latin or French word for nail. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> the name of which very edible product translated means twice cooked. General knowledge. So you're wrong. Was John F. Kennedy a Democrat or a Republican? Hugo Drax was the villain of which James Bond film? What does the rhyming slang Hampstead mean? Oh yeah. What does the rhyming slang Hampstead mean? Says German. Hamsteads. Who created the character of Tarzan? Which British TV comedy series starred Wendy Craig with Geoffrey Palmer as her dentist's husband? And the last category is Royal Family. Oh. <laughs> Which prince's last three names are Charles, Albert, David? Which Scottish school did Prince Charles go to? Who interviewed the Princess of Wales when she appeared on Panorama? Mm -hmm. so who interviewed the Princess of Wales when she appeared on Panorama? What colour was the suit Diana Spencer wore in her engagement photograph in 1991? And the last question is, what was Prince Philip's father called? Oh, he was a prince. <laughs> Prince. And one of Charles' sons is named after him. Oh. I shouldn't have said that because now I don't <laughs> Yeah, can you swap papers now, please? <laughs> and we'll have now cheating and we'll have now putting a little, little DDC literature. In which old old novel tell the story oh, of no, the I knew boy and his pheasant no. pouching father? Can't have put the boy in his pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Dan putting Charlie in the chocolate factory. <laughs> it was old doll. Anyway, we're both wrong. We're both wrong because <laughs> the answer is Danny the champion of the world. If anybody knows that, comment because we have no clue. <laughs> to be fair, we have no clue on any of them. Oh, yeah. Well, really? So. In okay. which English county were the Bronte sisters born? Carla so, put Litchfield. <laughs> Dan put Wiltshire. Wiltshire. We didn't live there. Yeah, so you was it? Yeah, I was close. No, well, you were close. It's Litchfield. We're both wrong anyway. Next, Next. one. <laughs> What was Geoffrey Archer's first public novel? <laughs> Dad put <Dad>, Mr. Blobby. <laughs> what did I put? The Wind in the Willow. And the answer is, not a penny more, not a penny less. If anybody knew that, comment. <laughs> That's all we're going to sign out after each, each question. Comment down below. Next one. Of which of Jane Austen's six novels did she write first? Dan put Freud and Prejudice. Yeah. Carla put the side. How did you put that? Oh. Both wrong, it's Sense and Sensibility. Well, I don't know any you, Jane you Austen. You quite near, you know, I mean, yeah. Me. <laughs> which author wrote the Philip Marlowe novels, including The Big Sleep? Dan skip this one. Rory Doll? No, it was supposed to be Roald Doll. I can't think. Roald. I don't know. I, I answered Roald Doll. Yeah, you are. 
was the answer? Raymond Chander. <laughs> Not a clue. Next. <laughs> I'll run the music. Music, you? yeah. What was the only number one album in the UK charts <laughs> during the 1960s? With the, the US, 60s? Yeah, with the US state in the album title. And if you don't get this, you won't get it. Okay, you go first and you want to. Carla Poole, American Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more like an English idiot. <laughs> Well. I, I don't know, I don't know the 60s. Blue Dan Hawaii. Oh, I was going to say Dan's answer. Sweet oh, home sorry. Alabama. I could say I'm Alabama. Alabama. Blue Hawaii. Oh. Comment down below if after number six you have one right at least. Next one. What was the only number one UK album in the 1970s? With the name of a country in the album title. Carl didn't answer. Yeah, one, Dan put Walking in Memphis. The answer is Constance for Bangladesh by George Harrison and Friends. Next one. What was the only number? What was the only UK hit song from the year 2000 <laughs> with a colour in the song title? Can you even answer mine first because you probably got it right. Carl put five colours in a fray. <laughs> No, F. that's a H hair. That's an F. No, that it's, looks like Fred. No, it's hair though. Hair, oh. Five colours in her hair. Dan put white flag boy, Dido. And it's the answer is black coffee by All Saints. Oh my God. Next one. What James Bond theme song that starts with the words "Meeting You" was the only OL7 theme? To reach number one in the US charts. Dan oh, didn't answer. Don't know. Oh, no. um, Dan put Live and Let Die, Paul McCartney. No, you're both wrong. It's a view to a kill, Duran Duran. La la la. It's funny, I was thinking that. I literally was thinking that because yeah. I was watching the film. We should have yeah. written it down, yeah. I picked some of them because I'm now Dan Lights like, Hour 7. Next one. Don't matter about me. Last <laughs> one. Which English band? has a record ah. of 36 top 10 albums in the US charts. Dan put the Beatles. Carla put the Monkeys. Well, it's wrong because they're all in stands. Right. Food and drink. What is, what is green horseradish called in Japan? Wasabi. We both put wasabi. Yay! 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 Got one out of 25. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. What kind of orange is used to flavour Earl Grey tea? I never thought of that one. Dan put blood orange. Carla put citrus orange. <laughs> no, it was a bergamot orange. I've never even heard of that. No, no. Next one. Which seed has been used for centuries to colour cheddar cheese? Carla put... No, I'm good. I'll answer, I'll answer yours first. Because yours is serious. Well, Dan no. put sunflower seed. No. What did I put? Carla put cheese seed. <laughs> <laughs> You're both wrong. It's an ana, anatote seed. A what? Anatote. A-double-N-A-double-T-O. No. Next one. The English word for which popular spice takes its name from the Latin no. or French word for nail? Dan didn't answer. Call it cinnamon. That was wrong. It's clouds. Latin clouds. French is oh. bleu. 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 The name of which very edible product translated means twice oh, cooked. Dan put duck. Call it put fish finger. <laughs> it's all wrong. It's biscuits. What? Oh, biscuits. Okay. Biscuits. 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 Foxes. Biscuits. <laughs> Not sponsored. Oh, I want some chocolate biscuits for my stuff. Dark chocolate and chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're trying to do a quiz here. <laughs> right. General knowledge. Right. You might have to ask me this one. Was John F. Kennedy a oh, Democrat no. or a Republican? We both put Republican. We both wrong. It's Democrat. I was going to put Democrat first. I thought, nah. <laughs> Next. 
New Gun Tracks was the villain of which James Bond film? Carla put Die Another Day. What did you pull? Moonraker! Yeah, Dan's right. I don't know James Bond. It's a Next one. What does the rhyming slang Hampsteads mean? Dan put arm. What's up? Okay, no. I didn't know. Don't put on now. That's wrong, it's tea. It's Next <laughs> one. Who created the character of Tarzan? <laughs> Let me answer first. What did I go? Yeah. So, no, you answer first because yours is funny. I have to read. So, Carla put his girlfriend Jane. <laughs> Dan put his dad, then his mum after. Edgar Rice Burroughs. Ed can get his eggs for old car. <laughs> Next. I've got it. Right. Uh, <laughs> royal family. Can I, can I just clarify with the royal family that I thought he meant the royal family is in the programme? <laughs> no, not the, the actual, royal family. Not the actual royal family. The royals in like, you know, yeah. Lizzie and all that. Not, I thought it was not the like Jim and Barbara. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I got so excited. It's what if she's in charge of a quiz, ain't it? Baby, baby, baby. Right, come on. Okay, right. Which British TV comedy series starred Wendy Craig with Jeffrey Palmer as a dentist husband? Oh, yeah. It's not that, though. It's not. I know the real answer. Oh, damn, put my family. It's not that. Sorry, Margaret. I know it's Robert Lindsay in Zoe Wanna Make. Uh, Carla put neighbours. That's no. not bloody pretty. I know, I couldn't think. Butterflies. Right, Royal Family. Yeah. Which prince's last three names are Charles Ad Charles Albert David? George. We both put George. No, Prince Harry. Oh my god. Which Scottish school did Prince Charles go to? Dan put St Andrews. Can't put Prince Albert School. No, Gordonston. Oh my god! What? Gordonston? Never even heard of it. Scotland. Yeah. Right, next one. Who interviewed the Princess of Wales when she appeared on Panorama? Would you like to read mine first? Can't put my... Michael Beethoven. <laughs> Michael Beethoven. <laughs> Dan put Trevor MacDonald. Not in the shoe. She did say it started with an M. I was sat on that stool. Right. Who interviewed the thing? Oh. <laughs> what colour was the suit Diana Spencer wore in her engagement photograph in 91? Dan put baby blue. I'll give him that. Yeah. What did I go on? Green. put royal blue slash green. I couldn't remember if it was blue or green. Yeah, it was so, blue, so you can. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got it. And the last one, what was Prince Philip's father called? Can I answer first because I want you to know? Yeah. So, Dan put William. <clears throat> Prince Fancy Pants, Prince Andrew. Oh, you got it. Prince okay. Andrew! Okay. <gasps> yeah. oh my but you God. put Prince Fancy Pants first. No, <laughs> that is a joke. Prince Andrew. Okay. Mm. That's the end of the quiz. Mm. Uh, can you count the scores up, please? Hey, why take us that long to tell you? Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> We're tied. We're tied. We're tied. <laughs> Three out of twenty-five. <laughs> Comment down below and let us know if you've done any better, which I'm sure you did. <laughs> oh, I've never known. It was so hard. hard. It was no, hard. No. Well, thank you, Mummy, for that quiz. Well done, quiz master. Thank you. Namaste. What's up, eh? <laughs> so it looks like we drew. I was quite surprised. We're yeah. like three out of twenty-five. Three? Each. That's oh, not crap. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, them questions, like we said, oh, were hard. Oh. All right. So I blame mom. <laughs> yeah, she ain't doing the quiz again. No. <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of the quiz. Comment down below and let us know your score. Got to be better than ours. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody's better than ours. Anybody's, yeah. Um, 
thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it subscribe like and comment and we'll see you tomorrow for a normal video Yay.